Astronomy fans were up bright and early today to catch a glimpse of a rare celestial event. This morning, Jupiter and Venus, the two brightest planets in the solar system, were visible to the naked eye. And stargazers around the world are taking to social media to share just what they saw. For more on this, we're joined by Paul Delaney. He's a physics and astronomy professor at York University. He joins me now from Toronto. Paul, good morning to you. Uh, thank you so much for good joining morning. us today. Uh, so astronomers, they've been watching this meeting of these two planets this morning. What happened? What did they see? Well, conjunctions, of course, are a wonderful time for you to see more than one interesting object in the field of view of your telescope or your binoculars at that one moment. Uh, this morning, as you said, around about 1 a.m. our time, actually, uh, Jupiter and Venus got within a quarter of a degree of each other. Now, put, putting that in perspective, the moon is about half a degree in angular size, so about half the diameter of the moon separated Jupiter and Venus. Venus is incredibly bright. Jupiter is also quite bright, so having these two beacons so close together is a really pleasant sight, especially as twilight forms. And the moon wasn't all that far away either, so in a sense it was almost a triple header. Right, and it really is something to be seen. Like, the, the, both bodies were completely uh, visible in those images that we saw there. Uh, just how rare is an event like this? Well, Jupiter and Venus, both being planets in our solar system, do get together reasonably closely on a sort of every other year type basis. But to get as close as this, that is a little rarer. So, for example, two years from now, Jupiter and Venus will get together again, but they'll be about four times the current separation. So to get this close, that happens, well, give or take a bit, about once every decade. But Jupiter and Venus can get together on a sort of every other year type basis. The last reasonably close event was back in 2015. That was in the evening sky. It was a little easier to see. This time it was in the morning sky. 2019, it'll be in the evening sky. So it, it oscillates a little bit in that regard as well. Start of Monday. I think it took away the Mon a case of the Mondays for a lot of astronomers out there. Paul Delaney, that's all the time we have this morning, but thank you so much. He is a physics and astronomy professor at York University.